So you're looking to move to Prattville, Alabama, and you're wondering, is Prattville even the kind of place that I wanna live? And if so, where would I live in Prattville? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna take you a, uh, on a tour through Prattville. We're gonna start here in downtown, and then we're gonna go check out three different neighborhoods, three different houses, and then we're gonna go look at Google Maps, and I'm gonna show you some key points around the city, um, some parks, some different shopping areas, and all the kind of stuff that you might be wondering about when you're moving to an area. Um, my name is Britt Dowling. My goal with this channel is just to take the mystery out of Montgomery and the surrounding area. And listen, I get calls, texts, and emails all the time from people just like you who are looking to move to the area and uh, they need someone to help them and I love to do it. So whether you're moving in a week, a month, or a year, just shoot me a call, text, or email and I would love to help you make your move a lot smoother. Um, lastly, if this is your first time to the channel and or you haven't subscribed yet, and if you're the type of person that likes to be informed, subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, right now we're at Atauga Creek, which is a great area during the summertime. On the weekends, you'll see a lot of kids and a lot of grown-ups down here playing in the creek. Uh, it's a really great time. As you can see, it's really beautiful. It's shady right around here. So you'll see a lot of people picnicking down here. Uh, you have to check it out if you come to Prattville. But we're gonna go get started down in downtown Prattville, which is this way, and then we'll go and check out the rest in just a second. So let's go get started right now. So I'm in downtown Prattville, and downtown Prattville's had a bit of a, a revitalization in the past probably 20 years. So there used to not really be that much going on, but they've really put a lot of money into downtown. There, there have been business owners that have come in and and opened up shop and so it's really turning into something really charming and fun so let's go check out downtown prattville and uh, we'll come back in a second Okay, so we're gonna go and take a look at Prattville, Alabama from Google Maps. But before I do, I wanted to just give an overview of uh, Prattville in relation to Montgomery, just so you have an idea. So here is, as you can see on the map, here's Prattville, and then this is Montgomery, obviously. So most of the traffic that is um, that you're gonna be seeing in Prattville is gonna be on southbound on 65 in the morning time into downtown Montgomery 
and then southbound on Highway 31 from Prattville into Montgomery. And this is going to take you right by Maxwell Air Force Base and right into downtown. So those are the two main, you know, most people who are who are moving to Mo- the Montgomery area and considering Prattville are probably going to be moving into Mo- are working in Montgomery, so they're going to be commuting into Montgomery a good bit. And you may be commuting for uh, other events like, you know, sports and whatever. But So most of the traffic is going to take place, like I said, on I-65 southbound in the morning times um, and I, uh, Highway 31 in the morning times southbound. And obviously the opposite is true in the afternoon. So northbound in the afternoon is going to be heavier on 65. Northbound on 31 is going to be heavier in the afternoon. Okay, so let's zoom in on Prattville and we'll take a little bit of a trip around there. So um, I'm going to refer to this exit because this is what most of us refer to uh, this exit as is the first Prattville exit. And then this is really kind of the second Prattville exit. There's a third Prattville exit that um, it's a little bit further up, but these are the two main exits that you're going to find. Now, Prattville, you know, on this first main, um, on this first Prattville exit, you've got uh, Cops Ford Road that's going to go all the way west into downtown Prattville. So downtown Prattville is the older part of Prattville. It's where we started out the video. You saw downtown and and you've got, you know, the Otago Creek that runs right down in here. So that's old, you know, old Prattville, uh, downtown, historic. Lots of older buildings that are being re- redone and uh, older houses. And then as Prattville grew, it grew eastward this way. And then, you know, so now you have, um, which we'll go into in a second. The, the next part we're going to go to is the shopping, which I'll uh, show you. You've got Bass Pro Shops right here. You've got some other shopping right in here. You've got Hobby Lobby. You've got um, uh, Target, Hobby Lobby, and Academy are right here, Target. Then you've got Walmart and a movie theater around here, and then some other shopping right around in here. So Prattville really started to grow eastward, and now as this exit, this exit is the second Prattville exit, um, like I said before, it's really started to grow, and now this exit has really kind of taken off and has really grown about this way and then if you head east on highway 14 it takes you into millbrook um, and then you can also go into wetumpka that way let's go and check out a video and show you the shopping in prattville and we'll come back to the map and then we'll kind of show you the uh, the busiest roads in prattville so you can get an idea of where you may or may not want to live let's go look at shopping right now
Okay, so now let's go take a look at the busiest roads in Prattville, kind of where all of the traffic is going to be, um, where all of the traffic is going to be um, concentrated. And so obviously I-65 is one of the busiest, well, not one of, it's probably the busiest um, highway or, or road system that goes through Prattville. And then you've got Highway 14, which is very, very busy. Highway 14 turns into Fairview Avenue which takes you into the central part of Prattville. And then obviously Main Street and Cobbs Ford Road. This, this is probably one of, if not the busiest road in Prattville. Highway 82 goes around Prattville like this, and it really stops. I mean, it keeps going, but uh, this is the busiest part right in here. Um, McQueen Smith Road turns into, um, I'm blanking on the name, but McQueen Smith Road goes all the way from Highway 31, which um, I'll show you in a second. So McQueen Smith Road, that's one of the busiest roads here. Or, or, yeah, one of the busiest roads here in Prattville. Highway 31, another really, really busy road here in Prattville. Goes all the way down to Montgomery and all the way north. You can keep going, um, and we'll stop it right there. But so these are the really the, the busiest roads here in Prattville. If you don't want to live on a busy street or if you don't want to live near a busy street, um, you definitely don't want to back up to a busy street. Uh, you want to keep these in mind. So, you know, when you're looking at houses and you're looking at neighborhoods, just be aware of these where these roads are. A lot of people don't want to live right on a busy street. So these are the busiest roads here in Prattville. Um, let's go take a look and show you a few parks around the Prattville area. So the first park that I want to highlight is, um, first of all, I, I know that I did a video on golf courses in and around Montgomery, and I highlighted the Robert Trent Jones golf course. So if you are a golfer, the Robert Trent Jones golf course is a um, like super elite, high-level golf course, awesome golf course, beautiful golf course. It brings in a ton of people every year. So if you are a golfer, uh, I think you're going to like that one a lot. But so the first park that um, that we're going to show is Cooters Pond Park, and uh, I know the name is funny, but it, so Cooters Pond, uh, it's a really pretty park. It's out kind of um, isolated by itself, so like you really feel like you're kind of away from it all, and it kind of goes, you know, near the river, and um, and then they have a dog park out there. The other park that we're going to go check out is Pratt Park, right down here near downtown Prattville. Another really cool one we're going to go check out is this wilderness park, this bamboo park. Uh, I think you're really, really going to like that one. It's super cool. It's um, uh, like these huge bamboos, like as big as my arm, growing up, and it's just a ton of shade. Great place to take a family walking. Um, really well-maintained trails throughout there. Um, another one that we're going to go check out is Matt Gray Park. That's a softball and baseball facility. So if you've got kids or, or maybe you play softball yourself, um, that's where you may be spending a lot of time up at Matt Gray. And then um, another one is, um, and I'm blanking on the old Memorial Park, and it's right down in here. So uh, let's go check out the parks in Prattville, Alabama. And when we come back, we're going to go check out the three neighborhoods I promised you and then the three houses in those neighborhoods. So let's go check out the parks right now. The Cooter's Pond is a, I don't even know who Cooter is. Uh, I always think of the of the guy off of uh, Andy Griffith's show when I hear the, the name Cooter's Pond, but I don't know who Cooter is, but uh, he's somebody who has a, a pond named after him. Really, it's just a, a branch of the um, Alabama River, but Cooter's Pond has a playground right over here. It's got a couple of uh, bathrooms, and then back this way, it has a dog park, which we'll go check out in a second. Over here, there's an overlook. Behind me, there's a pavilion where you can host events. Um, overall, just a, a really great, peaceful, quiet park, except for me talking right now. Um, just a really peaceful, quiet park. Great place to um, just come and relax and uh, and overlook the river. So let's go check it out. So one of the cool things, um, driving into Cooter's Pond, I'm not sure if it comes across on the camera. I hope it does, but like the kudzu is all over these trees, and it almost looks like they're like prehistoric monsters that could come alive at any moment, but I think it's pretty cool. That one looks like a gorilla or a elephant or something.
that way is Montgomery. Right there is downtown Montgomery. And Maxwell Air Force Base would be right around here. Okay, so I'm here in the Wilderness Park. Uh, also, a lot of people just call it the Bamboo Forest here in Prattville. It's a 26 acre park that's run and managed by the city of Prattville. As you can see behind me, it has um, a really, really nice, just wide open walking trail. It's a great place to come. You want a quiet place to spend the day and just walk through some, uh, a really interesting bamboo forest. So let's go walk down the trail a bit and check it out. One of the nice things is on the trail, there are benches where you can stop and take a break and trash receptacles. So there's not, um, I haven't seen any trash on the trail at all. Uh, it's been a while since I've been up here, but um, it's looking really nice and really clean. So. Okay, so now we're going to check out the three neighborhoods that I told you we would check out. And look, I've got, an, I've got a video coming out that is the top eight neighborhoods in Prattville, Alabama. So these are not the only neighborhoods, obviously. There's plenty, of, plenty more neighborhoods, but um, I'm going to have a more comprehensive video on the neighborhoods coming up in the future. But for now, we're just going to look at three. The first neighborhood we're going to look at is up here, and I tried to spread them out to show you one in kind of the northern part, the central part, and then the southern part. Um, so the first one we're going to look at is right up in here, and it is uh, a neighborhood called Glenbrook. It's uh, new build homes. They, they're fairly new. Um, they're still building in that neighborhood. So if you are looking for a new build construction, they are still building up there. But let's go and take a look at a few drive times from Glenbrook and show you, you know, if you wanted to live in Glenbrook and you're moving or living into or working in Montgomery, how long it might take you to get from Glenbrook to your workplace in Montgomery. So let's zoom in a bit here and we'll just go from the main entrance here at Glenbrook and we'll get directions. 100 Commerce Street is kind of my central point in downtown Montgomery. 
it's just right in the heart of downtown Montgomery. So from there, you're looking at um, you're looking at a 16 minute drive from from Glenbrook to downtown Montgomery, 16 minute drive, and then if we go to Maxwell Air Force Base. And see how it's mostly taking us down I-65. There's a couple of other other options. Down I-65, it looks like it's a 19-minute drive. Okay, so let's go check out Glenbrook. I'm going to take you through the neighborhood, and then we're going to go check out a house in Glenbrook. And so we'll get started right now. to go take a look at it. The other neighborhood I wanted to show you, which is the central neighborhood, and that neighborhood is called Highland Ridge. That neighborhood is located right here. Highland Ridge is pretty centrally located, as you can see, the, in, the intersection of McQueen Smith and Cobbs Ford, a very busy intersection. Um, you're convenient to Walmart here and other shopping all around here. So, okay, so let's see how long it's going to take to get us from um, Highland Ridge to downtown Montgomery and we'll go to 100 Commerce Street 
oops, 100 Commerce Street. Looks like it's going to take us 14 minutes to get to downtown Montgomery from Highland Ridge. And now let's go to Maxwell Air Force Base. Looks like it's going to take us 17 minutes, and it does say the quickest route to Maxwell is down Highway 31. I'm not surprised by that. All right, so that's Highland Ridge. Let's go check out Highland Ridge, go through the neighborhood, and then we'll go through a home tour there, and uh, we'll come back and go through the last neighborhood, which is Hedgefield. Okay, we just drove through Highland Ridge here in Prattville, so let's go take a look and see what $215,000 gets you in Highland Ridge here in Prattville, Alabama. Okay, we're back and let's go look at Hedgefield. Um, as I promised, so Hedgefield is a new build, a new construction uh, neighborhood here in the, it's down in the south part of Prattville, right down in here. It's being built by Louder New Homes. So again, if you're looking for a new construction home, this might be, uh, this might fit what you're looking for. But down here in the southern part, I'm going to bet you it's going to take us, in fact, I know it's going to take us, it's going to take us to, um, Maxwell and downtown through Highway 31. So let's go to 100 Commerce Street, our main point in downtown. It's going to take us 17. Um, no, it's taking us I-65. Uh, it's going to take us 15 minutes. Honestly, from Hedgefield, I would have taken Highway 31. So here I'm going to say Google Maps is wrong. So you're going to, you would want to take Highway 31, and it's going to probably take you about 15 minutes. So what was it saying? Oh, yeah, 19 minutes. And so next, if we want to go to Maxwell, it goes right by Maxwell. Again, it'd be kind of silly to go down 65. You're really going to want to go down 31, and it's a 16-minute drive. Okay, 
So that's Hedgefield. Let's go check out Hedgefield, and then we'll check out a home tour over there. And then. We'll drove through Hedgefield neighborhood here in Prattville and we're going to go show you uh, a tour of this house and show you what $394,000 gets you in Prattville, Alabama in this neighborhood. All right, let's go. Okay, that does it for today's video again of Prattville, Alabama. If you like the video, again, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you need anything at all, shoot me a call, text, or email, and I would love to help make your move a lot smoother. All right, until the next one, we'll see you later.